got another paint job in and I didn't think you could see it and I wasn't going to do a video a bit of this. So that is lacquer paint. And about three months ago, I brushed some lacquer on there to stop it getting any worse, which it has stopped. Now, if you don't know these, Mercedes did a recall on these if you knew about it because they suffered with massive paint defects on the red models. This one came into me about six maybe six seven years ago and it had like a peel all over and i said go back to mercedes and mercedes will paint this vehicle and the only part on this vehicle they did not paint was the bonnet because it had, had some touch up and paint work done so they painted the full vehicle all the way around but this quarter has gone funny so all we're going to do i was going to try and do a spot repair so we repair around this surface area but it becomes nightmare so i'm going to get the block and i'm going to block this just to say smooth where the is, and then it's gonna have a small skim a fine filler over that and then what we'll do is we'll 2000 no we won't what am i talking about we'll 1200 the full quarter all up here and we'll paint the full quarter and just a little blow mark flick into there and re it it'll be easier it's going to be straightforward to tape up we haven't got any major issues so we'll block this off now and then we'll get some filler chucked in there if you don't know nothing about us we're a car project channel and we film what we get up to through our business weeks and we also film projects like the xrtt which is covered in blankets this new subaru video that's coming out soon or it's already been out somebody's crashed a car through a hedge because they missed the junction stuff like that but what we're doing in today's episode is we're getting this mercedes squared up right so what we're going to do now is just slightly level off this area okay 600 on the block working away and then we'll knock all the rest of the quarter down some 1200 i think that'll be good enough and then a fine skim around this area to bring the level back fine filler Yeah, you will nice. see now, you will see. As always, we're using the fine body filler by Big Boy and I need to stop talking now because there's music in the background. Right, so it's late on the evening, about six o'clock. Everyone's gone home and it's nice and quiet. And this is when I start to do the painting. Lewis got the garage all cleaned out. So I've washed all the panel down. We've got a bit of spot primer to do. Let it dry off for half an hour. Bit of a block round there and then we can send it. I've only taken the top off with the palm of my hand just to take the top of it off. With some 600, wet and dry, gone round all the edges as well. So we'll get it in the garage, sheet all this area up. I am going to blow in up to here. A couple of hours I reckon we should have it done. That there is my famous last words. We've got some new t-shirts as well in the merch line. And I'll show you them tomorrow when I'm blocking and polishing this off.
So it's the following day and last night I didn't realise the SD card went full on the old time lapse machine. Oh, you're so stupid, Dad. So what we're going to do now is set off with a 2000 wet and dry sandpaper with a tiny bit of very washing up liquid just to make it easy to move about. I've had it parked in the sun this morning drying. I'm going to work around the full panel with 2000. Now, there's not a lot of areas you can really get the block into on this panel, but it's gone on and it looks super flat so i'll use a block where i can and then my hand where i can nice and gently just taking the top of the orange peel off ever so slightly and then we're going to polish it up with some compound and then hand polish the vehicle so it's looking mega so i shall jump onto that right now we also have these quite plain t-shirts out that are really nice in this color that have just come out and they're in the link down below to the big cartel to our merchandise store where we have loads of stuff if you want to support the channel you can do so all the abrasive stuff that we've used in sanding and prepping this we've used clean spar abrasive technology materials the wet and dry is fantastic the da's stuff is fantastic they do slitting this cutting this you name it anything abrasive these people are the best you pay for the best and you get the best quality clean spar abrasive technology So we have it flatted lovely back now with the 2000 and I've just washed it off. Now we're jumping into the compound. Now this is the Evo Adaptive Cut and I put a link down below where you can get this from. And basically this starts off as a rough compound. Now it took them over six years to develop this and this actually breaks down. So instead of needing different compounds, this starts off as a really abrasive compound and then it breaks itself down finer so you don't need loads of different compounds. So we will get right on and get this polished up now and then get it polished up by hand to get rid of the swirl marks.
And it's gonna start raining. I'm well buzzing with it. You can't tell at all now. Got some weirdos in the van. The colour match is awesome because we've only feathered in that area. Like that. Right, so that's another one. This has been a week in shine. If you like this sort of content where we're going to detail in a bit more of the sole jobs that we're having through the week, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget, we've got these t-shirts and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching and we're at 19,000 subscribers now. Get up there. I thought, shit, what are you not doing here? <laughs> up with you.